Welcome everybody to edition 25 of Upstream on Trusted.TV. On this edition, 16 artists, two trailers, one interview. But we're kicking off today with a band who have been on the show before. They're called Chang. Now they record for Mayfield Records, a label run by a longtime close friend of mine, Dominic Elton, down in Portsmouth, although they are actually from Bristol. Like the last time they are on the show, the video and the track absolutely bristle with energy. But I should warn you, if you are squeamish about swear words, and even more so, if you're squeamish about creepy crawlies, you might want to look away. This is Chang, and the song is called Tinderella. Put your hand up if you've ever had a positive experience with Tinder. Oh, bad experience. I wrote this song about bad experiences with Tinderella. This one's called Tinderella! Well, if you were feeling sleepy, that one should have woken you up. That was Chang and uh, the video for their new single, Tinderella. Well, Barbara were on the show about two or three editions ago. They're a young band led by two brothers from Brighton, whose influences see them delving back so far before they were born that even I only just about remember some of the eras that they're influenced by. But they do take that music and mix it with contemporary vibe to create something that's really genuinely fresh and original. And the quality of their songwriting is at times quite breathtaking. This is Barbara, new one from them. It's a lyric video and it's called These New Communications.
Barbara there with the video for their new single, uh, These New Communications. Well, um, it's been a while since we've had an artist from Ghana on the show, so I was very pleased to be contacted by Bra Purple and also very grateful to him for the fact that not only has he supplied me with the video for his fantastic song Love and Lights, but he's also managed to put in there the logo for Trust the Doc and a logo for the Arts Council and National Lottery, who of course helped to fund this very programme. So Bra Purple it is, and this is called Love and Light. Per pill Hey Zero three zero two Sending love and life for the people that are stressed Do you really love me for who I really am? Should I run through the lap? Should I run back? One mile, all I'm still running through your mind Let them know stuff isn't easy as it seems It go be, it go be, nana chame da ben Clouds they be chasing, paper we be making They wish we go broke now, bread we be baking Started from the bottom, the middle or the top All the same, got really really got my back Volume up, hands up, let them know what's up I don't know the things that you going through but I wish you never gonna resort to drugs Cause it gon' mess up your squad Cause I seen two guys, they them that bad I don't wanna see all my brothers go mad I pray you get the things that you wish for mm, I pray you get the things that you wish for All them other things gonna add up if you pray more All them other things gonna add up if you pray more No negativity here It's all positive vibes, all positive vibes Mama say you're man of the year Mama say yeah, you the man of the year Sending love and life for the people that are stressed Sending love and life for the people that are stressed Someday, someday, yeah, you go be Someday, someday, yeah, you go be Sending love and life for the people that are stressed Sending love and life for the people that are stressed Someday, someday, yeah, you go be Someday, someday, yeah, you go be Sending love and life for the people that are stressed What else is life? Sending love and life for the people that are stressed you gotta live, yeah, you laugh, and learn. Someday, someday, yeah, you What's the essence? Then life for the people that are stressed. But when it's time, time for the people to go. that are stressed. Hey. Someday, someday, hey. yeah, you go be. Uh. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. W -w Wake up in the morning, Coco Ram, I made one CD. I will bet for a while, so to make two CDs. Bet to a non kind of quell. Nanka, we all go pull up in the Mercedes. See that country be hard, what the mess this is. And tell me what the F is next to this. I mean, yeah. Who got the hand in this? Uh, school kids be learning under trees. Whilst they're my own kiddies, they overseas. Election time, rich them, tech and one of G's. Then they claim, say time's hard, but then they ball hard. It no be easy to sell art. Read between the lines, don't fall with the vibe. They always gonna come through there with a lie. Make you know they make it over you. See your time go, they come, and I know it's over you. Sending love and life for the people that are stressed. Sending love and life for the people that are stressed. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. Sending love and life for the people that are stressed. Sending love and life for the people that are stressed. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. I'm gonna love and life for the people that are stressed. What else is life? I'm gonna die in the you gotta live, yeah, laugh, and learn as you go. Yeah, you What's the essence? Life I don't know. For the people that are but when it's time, life for time the people to go. That are stressed. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. Someday, someday, yeah, you go be. With a lovely upbeat message for you there. That's Bra Purple from Ghana and a track called Love and Light. Well, Luna Bird have been on the show two or three times since uh, that started back in May 2020. And indeed, they opened the second edition of this show, which is still to date the one that holds the record for the most views. They are a, effectively a duo of Roberta from Italy and Francis from Wales, normally based in Cardiff. And uh, they've had support from uh, Help Musicians UK for an album and video project. Very well deserved, I have to say. They've really impressively built a brand um, that consists of both a, an instantly recognisable sound and style of music, but also an instantly recognisable visual imagery as well. Um, I'm hoping that the next year we'll see some real success for Luna Bird because they certainly have it coming. This is their latest video and it's called Second Circle. Yeah. 
That was Luna Bird with the uh, video for Second Circle and we go from one fantastic regular on this show to another because the next band up are Healthy Junkies in Camden in North London. They actually opened, as I mentioned last time, they were on the very first edition of this show and uh, they got a new track out called Mayday. Now normally when we see Healthy Junkies it's Nina Coulson, the uh, Parisian lead singer who um, takes the, uh, the lead vocals. But on this particular track it's guitarist Phil Honey Jones on lead vocals and as we will see he's got a pretty good voice too it's Healthy Junkies and this is Mayday <laughs> Yeah. 
Healthy Junkies uh, with the video for May Day. Well, we do love a trailer on this show, and we've got two of them on the show tonight. The first of them is by Project Concubine. Uh, they're a fascinating band uh, with a fluid lineup. And um, this is a trailer for a new single from them called Fuck Daddy. Who brought me boobs trapped in my shiny shoes till that? Well, that was the trailer for Project Concubine's new single, Fuck Daddy, and that's out on the 25th of May. Um, well, the last time Lines of Flight, a duo from Leeds, were on the show, they wowed people with the video for Moth Eaten Heart made by Amy Cutler. They have a lovely video out now for their new single, which I've also been playing on my radio show, and this is called Heading Out to You.
Lines of flight there with the video for heading out to you. Well, next up is Transam 40. Well, he's talking about something I think probably most of us have experienced at some point in our life. This is called Lying Drunk. Most of you are up, and you can be a loser like me. Who wants to be a winner when you can be a loser like me? Not calling me a failure, but I'm looking up at you from my knees. Transam 40 there with Lying Drunk. Well, get ready for some colours next because it's Zoom Unit and this is a track called Touching the Clouds. Clouds. 
Zoom unit there with the video for Touch the Clouds. Well, I said we love a trailer on this show. Here's a second one now. This is a band called Nick Cody and the Heartache, and it's a little trailer for you for a song called Can't Stop. So that was the trailer for uh, Nick Cody and the Heartache and the track called Can't Stop. Well, my fellow uh, Freshener Net moderator, Debs McCoy, has necessarily been unable to do very much music over recent times. So I was very, very pleased to see that uh, Stephen Ward, an old friend of hers, had got together with her and remixed one of her tracks. And I'm even more delighted, having spoken to Stephen, that I've now got the video here and upstream too. This is Debs McCoy, as remixed by How to Use This Manual, which is the name Stephen goes out under, and the track, which is uh, a tribute to um, a friend of Debs's who uh, suffered with uh, motor neurone disease. He's called For David Number One. Debs McCoy, remixed by How to Use This Manual.
Debs McCoy there has remixed by How to Use This Manual with the video for the track for David Part 1. And um, let's hope that uh, Debs will be up and out there and back amongst it again sooner rather than later. We'll post Cold Prom Queen of a band who I first came across back when they record L Space and were recording for the last night from Glasgow Records label and um, had some success back then on Fresh in the Net. Well, they've had success from Fresh in the Net since then too, as post Cold Prom Queen changed their name and split with the label ooh, probably just over a year ago. And they were due to headline a festival I was putting on in April 2020 before that was scuppered by COVID. Still hopeful that they might find an excuse to be in London at some point and come and play one of my gigs. But in the meantime, they've had a couple of great singles out, including Wait, Wait, Dig, which you will be seeing the video for in a few minutes' time. But first of all, I caught up with Lily and Gordon, aka Post Cold Prom Queen, for this interview. Well, I'm very pleased to welcome onto the show Postcard Prom Queen, Lillian Gordon. Welcome to Upstream on Trusted.tv. Hello, glad to be here. Cool. You're so, in virtual um, space. Excellent. <laughs> and how have, um, how's things been with lockdown? Are you just sort of emerging now and starting to plan gigs and stuff again? Yeah, it's been... We were really, really lucky that just before the lockdown hit properly in Scotland, we managed to get into the studio and finish off our EP... So uh, we've had stuff to do over the last couple of months, which has been really, really good. If we'd taken an extra couple of days, we wouldn't have gotten it finished and we would have been stuck. Uh, it would have been pretty rubbish, but we've had plenty going on. And uh, yeah, it's great to be thinking about gigs again, rescheduling near London with you and then our, uh, Tokyo as well. So hopefully end of this year, start of next year, we'll be back on the road. Tokyo sounds a lot more glamorous than London with me, <laughs> but uh, but I would be delighted to have you come and play London with me, of course. Um, right so, now, even London is extremely exciting because we've been stuck in the same cities for so long. Even London is like this faraway exotic place that you can go and see completely <laughs> different sites. So, London where about, like... Whereabouts are you two then? Is, uh, is one of you in Glasgow and one of you somewhere else? Yes, I'm in Glasgow. Okay. Where are you going? Edinburgh. Oh, in Edinburgh. Okay. So you are literally kind of east and west of Scotland. Yeah. We like to unite both sides, you know, put an end to the violence, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I thought the violence was between uh, the, um, the the different supporters of the um, of the, the orange and green tendencies in, in both cities. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so let's talk about the new EP anyway. So Wait, Wait, Dig obviously has been the, the, the latest track that, that we've been playing. I've been playing it on my radio show, um, made the Freshener Net faves as well, which is great to see. Um, so what's the story now with the EP and what's the plan? Well, we have just started manufacturing our CDs, um, which is really exciting. Uh, we have designed them carefully and chosen some nice colours for them. And they're half sold out already, so uh, get on that if you want to buy some. It's got four tracks on it. It has Wait, Wait, Dig, Tomorrow's Garden, Faraday Cage for One, and Salt. So that's um, four that we've released. As three is released to singles. And then also we've got a couple of remixes on there as bonus material for the physical release and a couple of live tracks that we recorded when we were uh, filming with Hidden Door Festival. So there's a few little bonus things on the physical release, but also the digital one is available too. Cool. And Salt, obviously, was a track that I was also playing quite a lot on, uh, on my show, Beautiful Song. Um, so um, from what you're saying, and the, the, the physical release has items on it that aren't on the digital version, I presume. Yeah, we wanted to, um, you know, buying a physical thing is a big thing these days. You know, there's people don't have very much money. So if they were going to like invest their money in us, we wanted to make sure that they got good value. Um, so the remixes and the live tracks, they'll never be up on streaming sites or anything. You know, they're going to be exclusives for, uh, for people to buy the CD. And they're extremely limited. Uh, in fact, they're even more limited than I realised because our families are going to want some. I'm going to want one. So the amount we've got on Bandcamp isn't even accurate, you know. So, um, yeah, there's only a handful left, which is quite... If, wow. they, if lots of people want them, though, I think we can stretch to print, making some more. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great if you're able to to sell them at gigs, wouldn't it? I mean, that, that's yeah. a perfect place to sell a physical product, isn't it? It's a dream. Yeah. Uh, we've never been organised enough to have any merch or any CDs at gigs. Um, like when we used to play gigs in our other band, um, 
I've got a stack of vinyl just sitting there like, underneath my TV that I've taken it all over the country. It's been every gig and I, not once have I remembered to take it out of the case and actually sell it to anyone. So this time we're going to do things differently. We're going to sell things. It's going to be great. It's going to be organized. Hopefully some of it will come from being um, more rehearsed and more calm about it. Because I think sometimes when you stop when you're at a gig ready to play you're so focused on just trying to do a really good performance that you don't really think about all these kind of peripheral things you're just like yeah you just want to get the gig right um so you forget but hopefully we'll get better at remembering everything else as we improve i think it helps as well if you've got um a promoter or venue that's sort of used to like say with with my gigs i'll always ask the bands when they arrive have you got any merch because we'll have a merch table um and then that kind of takes that pressure away from you but you know mm. if, if you're not in that kind of venue that kind of situation then remembering oh yeah we, we got stuff to sell you know when you're trying to perform can be uh, difficult i guess yeah so so we go on um you mentioned um the other band uh, we're talking about l space here um because i wanted to ask you really obviously when i first came across your music you were l space and you were recording for last night from glasgow records and at some point you decided to end that relationship um what was the the um what was the reason for changing the name to post cold problem queen did you just want a name that was you know, more distinct or, or was it part of a kind of rebranding almost of the band? It was, it was a bit of a rebrand. With L Space, we, it came to a natural end, you know, our relationship with the, the label and um, uh, the bassist Dixon, uh, it just came to a natural conclusion and lockdown really facilitated that. We decided that we weren't working in a way that made any of us very comfortable. And there's no point in continuing that. If you're not having fun making music, there is absolutely no point doing it. So we're all off doing our own thing. We're all much happier. It's all really, really nice. And uh, the name uh, changed because Lily and I were both always really annoyed that the name Lspace had a hyphen in it. And that makes it difficult to get uh, URLs and usernames. But back in the day, I got drunk and bought the, the domain name. And that was us locked in for like four years of the name. Uh, Unfortunately, we did exactly the same thing this time. And post-cold we should technically have a hyphen. But we're just yeah, I'm always like, oh, no, post call should have a hyphen. Uh, <laughs> I, I will die on it. I'm not having another hyphen. It was, it was a terrible idea. So um, we bought the domain name again. So we're locked into this for another four or five years. But expect to rebrand after that to <laughs> you know, a new domain. So we'll see. Yeah, Hopefully you'll be so big by then that you won't want to change the name. That's that's the plan, surely. That's that would dream. be nice. Yeah, I mean, I must say from uh, from my perspective that um, it does seem that since you became post cold prom queen and since you became a duo, that um, you just seem to have settled more. There's a more distinct sound that's instantly recognisable as you now, and um, it does seem to have kind of given you a, a lot of freedom to kind of really find what you want to do yeah I think one of another of the things that made us want to do a kind of a, a rebrand or like a, a restart of a project is that our space was really quite um, a learning experience and I like that we took our audiences on that journey with us um, seeing our mistakes and seeing how sometimes we weren't always very good performing or sometimes the recording and mixes weren't the best but we did progress over time and I feel like now we reached a point where we were a bit more confident in what we were doing. We kn knew a bit more about what we exactly wanted to do, what kind of sonic identity we wanted and how to mix better, how to make the most out of the sounds of the synths, my voice. And I think sometimes when you reach a point like that, you kind of want to show, okay, guys, here we are. This is us now with this, um, bit more experience um and i think sometimes a rebrand can be good for that um it's like a new thing with a not a new sound because we sound kind of we we still sound a bit like Hellspace, but some new elements that make us a bit distinct from it as well especially in the recording yeah i think the recording played a big part in it we started going to a different studio we were working with an engineer who really 
understood what we were going for. Um, I, I mean, it, it's hard to understate how little we knew about what we were doing when we started L Space. It was, we recorded an EP um, in my living room and released it. And then the next week we were off the gig. And then from that point on, we had no idea how to do any of this. Our first singles weren't even mastered because I didn't know what mastering was. Uh, I just turned everything up until the little bar went yellow and then <laughs> thought that was that would do. Um, so we had no idea what we we're doing. But because in Scotland there's a really great music scene and everybody's very supportive and there's some fantastic uh, bloggers out there, we got some attention quite early on and it was, we couldn't just stop and go, actually, we have no idea what's going on. We really need to learn. I mean, I need to learn how to play guitar. I need to learn what a synth is, you know, all this sort of stuff. We had to keep going. So like Lily said, people watched us make mistakes and they watched us grow as musicians. I think that's been really, really nice. But it's good to have a new name. And now that we're starting kind of fresh, we're getting more opportunities because it looks like we've just emerged from nothing, um, sounding more accomplished than we used to. But it's not, it's not true. Most people you hear in bands and who get good attention, this is their second or third or fourth attempt at being in a band. You know, people tend not to talk too much about what it took to get them to where they are. Whereas we're quite happy to sort of wear that on our sleeve and say, yeah, listen to our terrible unmastered first singles, go for it. <laughs> and it's not um, to say we're, we're, we're perfect now. We've still got a lot of learning to do, um, but I just think we're at like the next level. Um, wherever that level is on the hierarchy or spectrum, um, it's like a bit of a step up, I think. I plug my guitar pedals in right the first time. Uh, well, the the EP talking. is so we gone. No, no, I was, <laughs> I was just talking nonsense. Ignore me. <laughs> I mean, the EP certainly is very accomplished, well produced, and you know it does sound like a band that's uh, that does know what they're doing. Um, so, just very quickly, um, you've mentioned Japan before, and you and you did. Um, you did collaborate with a Japanese artist, didn't you, about a year or so ago. What's the story with that? Are you, are you talking still to labels out there? Or what's the Japan connection now? Um, well, we're not signed, you know, people tend not to sign deals these days, but we're on a small record label in Japan and it's run by a band called Makarum, who are the band that we were um, collaborating with. And uh, we've released two singles with them and they were so much fun to do. And then they were on our Hidden Door live performance as well. They recorded the set over in Tokyo and sent it to us. Um, we're rescheduling our gigs quite soon. But it all came about because my Spotify uh, weekly algorithm told me, hey, check out this band. And I love them. And uh, we started to talk to them. We were tweeting at them. And obviously, there was a language barrier to begin with. But we're, we're making plans now. We've got more things in the works, more songs. And we'll be getting out there hopefully next next spring ish. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and I would really recommend to anyone to do collaborations with other bands as well because it has been such a great experience. It and you don't you don't you learn you learn a lot from them, but also you challenge yourself and learn yourself what you can do because uh, you have to be quite adaptable. You have to make space in your songs for other people to do things as well that's where that thing like sometimes doing less is more in some cases um and really listening to the other person's input I guess it's like sometimes when you get improvisational jazz bands they're all about listening to the other players and you do that in collaborations as well you've got to really totally listen to every detail of what they're doing to make sure that your contribution fits with it and I think the so musically that was great but also with the lyrics that's it was really interesting because half the lyrics are in Japanese and half of them are in English and uh, I'm sure it's the same both ways but it's really interesting reading translated lyrics hoping the translation is good and then trying to write something that fits with someone else's theme while not completely well knowing you might not completely understand the theme so you've sometimes got to be a bit vague, uh, or at least if you are specific, give it the same vibe. Um, so it was a very interesting challenge and so fun. Yeah, sounds brilliant. Well, exciting times ahead. And just pleased me to say really thanks ever so much for being on the show. And uh, we will be shortly seeing the video for Wait, Wait, Dig. So thanks ever so much. Thank thanks you. For- 
Well, as promised, here is the video for Postcard Prom Queen and the song Wait, Wait, Dig. <laughs> Well, that was Post Cold Prom Queen with the video for the song Wait, Wait, Dig. Well, Lucy Jenick is a band from Manchester fronted by Lucy Wyatt Davis. They've been making quite an impression both on Freshner Net readers and on uh, listeners to my radio show. This is their new single and this is called Hope.
Lucigenic and the video for the song Hope. Well, Sandra's Wedding from uh, Yorkshire have been twice now winners of the Track of the Week poll on my radio show. They're also very popular with uh, BBC introducing in uh, Yorks and Humberside, and not surprisingly when you hear the uh, standard of their music. This is a video for the latest single with the rather excellent title of Aretha Franklin. Place I'm Aretha Franklin. I miss your needle winding up my groove. Alexa, place I'm Aretha Franklin. Your Johnny Walker dropping down so smooth. And I won't sit here singing myself. I just won't play your games. Won't sit here crying. I miss the magic rolling up my sleeve Looks a place on my wreath of Franklin My heart is aching like I just won't believe it I won't sit here singing my sin I just won't play your
Sandra's wedding there with the video for Aretha Franklin. Well, it's time for another video for that crazy Welshman in the orange helmet, Bloca Cola. And uh, well, this time, apparently, he's mango insane. Coca-Cola there with the uh, video for Mango Insane. Well, Robin French is a guy who's already had quite an incredible career, both in the music world and in the acting world. And he also has this wonderful band uh, known as Sugarcane, who've uh, made a great impression on Freshner Net readers in recent times. This is a new single from Sugarcane. I'm so delighted to have this video to end the show on a really upbeat note. And this is called Blondes Have More Fun.
Well, that is all we have time for, I'm afraid, folks. So we are at the end once again of another edition of Upstream on Trusted.tv. So it just leaves me really to say thanks ever so much for watching and listening, whether you joined us live in the chat room or whether you're uh, watching later on YouTube. I will be back in uh, two weeks' time on the 1st of June with edition 26 of Upstream on Trusted.tv with more videos, more live footage, more interviews, more trailers. And well, just leaves me to say, take care, everybody. And I'll see you in two weeks time.